We should know on Monday how that freighter grounded on Cape Cod will be salvaged. But as Eyewitness News reporter Shelby Scott tells us, as long as the ship sits there, people want to see her. It's a chance of a lifetime to see something like that. The people just keep coming to see it. The Maltese freighter Eldia blown up on Nosset Beach during that March 29th storm. The walk to get close to the ship is not easy. It's a mile in soft sand. But most who make the trek say it's worth it. It's, uh, it's quite a sight to see, seeing something like that washed up, you know. It must be an awful powerful ocean, you know. For me, it's kind of long because my legs and feet start to hurt, and it's the boat's good, and it's big. <laughs> it was nice to see, but it's a long walk back. I think it's quite amazing that it's up straight like that. It just looks like um, someone just placed it there out of the sky. <laughs> if you had to get it off of here, what would you do? I would try to get some tugboats, I guess, and uh, tuck it out. <laughs> get another storm in here <laughs> to make you go out. Orleans patrolman Early Baudelaire told me the crowds just keep coming. There's been, uh, oh, I'd say a good 5,000 a day anyway, at least. Uh, the nice, nice days, a lot more. The parking lot's full. Just continuous people, down, back and forth. When you see someone close to the ship, you get a better idea of just how big she is. But where do all the tourists come from? Well, judging from the cars in the parking lot, all over New England, and even farther. And at the refreshment stand, which has just opened on the beach, business is brisk. I'm a six weeks ahead of schedule. How's business? That's, you know, you can see it's doing fine. People are here and I'm open to do business. What are you selling? I'm selling uh, postcards. I'm selling uh, color shots of the ship. I'm selling black and whites of the ship. I'm selling special editions of the Cape Cotter. And, of course, our T-shirts are a big seller. And, yes, I bought my souvenir of a shipwreck on Cape Cod, too. I'm Shelby Scott, TV4 Eyewitness News, reporting from Nosset Beach, Orleans. Ildia, Ildia, Ildia was some kind of boat. The Aldea has not been forgotten in Orleans, but today it's much quieter at Nosset Beach. It was a real boom to the whole town. I wish it was back. <laughs> not in my lifetime. Today the beach is empty, but a year ago thousands trekked a mile through loose sand to get a close-up view of the Aldea. The March 29th storm was the cause and the word was fast getting out. A 471-foot Maltese freighter had run aground on Nosset Beach. Her crew was saved, but she was quite a sight, just sitting there. The first weekend, an estimated 30,000 people trekked across the dunes to see her. Huge numbers of tourists continued to come until she was finally freed and towed away a month and a half later. Enterprising Orleans merchants got busy, selling t-shirts, postcards, posters, even coffee mugs. The Aldea turned into big business. We made a shipwreck sandwich. <laughs> we had a special turkey, cranberry sauce, cheese, melted in a pocket, rolled up. <laughs> it sort of tripled off season. People that arrived on the Cape and the sales of the Aldea mug were just incredible. How many of them did you sell? Oh, at this point we've lost count. I think it's well over 3,000. And you're still selling them? We just reordered. But the Orleans officials who had to deal with the problem don't want to see anything like the Aldea phenomenon again. I think the cost to, uh, was about $80,000, and I think uh, probably three-quarters of that were police uh, private duty. While the salvage operation was underway, there was a great deal of concern about the fragile dunes. 80% of the beach grass has come back. There's only one small road uh, which we're going to replant this April. So there's been no, you don't think, any uh, permanent harm done? Uh, no, no permanent harm done at all. Today, instead of thousands at Nosset Beach, it's a few brave surfers and lots of empty sand. The clam shack is still boarded up. The picnic tables won't go out until Memorial Day. And while many people will remember the Aldea, for at least two, the freighter has a big significance. One of the people that work for me, Judy Joy, um, met one of the insurance adjusters, and as far as I know, they're going to get married this August. 